Okay, you're going to have to forgive me um, now because um, I actually shot the next video, or well, this video, which is the adding the strap connectors to the gusset, um, whilst my camera was facing the wall behind me. So I've literally cut myself another little scrap of gusset and a quick connector um, just to show you how to do this. So this is obviously a very short gusset, but I'm only going to show you on one end simply because you don't need... Um, to see me do it the whole thing just show you how to do the, the connectors onto the gusset so there is a, a measurement given in the pattern um, and you're going to draw a line on your gusset at that measurement and then you're going to position your strap connector above that line now the one thing i will say is my um, rectangles are slightly concave um, some of them are, are nice and flat but some of them are concave now if you've got a concave um, rectangle then you need to make sure that that is actually facing the bag so that the concave bit the bit that arches out is is away from the gusset so I'm going to position that in the place that I would um, above the measurement that's given in the pattern um, and you can I would actually add a little tiny bit of glue to the bag just to kind of hold it in place let's just turn this light on as well it's not very bright here today so I'm just popping a little bit of glue, which will just stop it from sliding about. Um, I'm only popping that in the middle because I don't really want it all over my needle. And as I say, you would have made a mark on your um, gusset and the measurement is given in the pattern and positioned your strap connector centrally. So you can see that that's now been popped onto there centrally. Obviously, this would be a very long piece. Um, and then we're just going to stitch in that cross that people do now you can do this all in one hit you don't need to do it in lots of different pieces and I will come across the top as close to the edge as I can then I will go down the side. Then along the bottom. Then up the other side. So effectively I've now created, oh golly, I've still got boots on and that's not helpful when I'm sewing. I usually sew in bare feet up the side. So now I've created a square. And if you want to mark this, the diagonals on this cross, you can do. If you don't feel confident, you can actually um, go from one corner to the other without, without going wonky. It does take a little bit of practice sometimes. So I'm going now diagonally across that square to the other corner. When I land in that corner, I'm going to come back along the bottom. Oh, this feels really weird with my boots on. I can't actually feel where I'm putting my pedal. coming back along the bottom following the same stitch line as I already made into that last corner and then I'll come back up across the diagonal so I'm going to make that cross out now raise my needle my work out and then I'll use my self-threading needle to bury my thread ends. Now often people talk about um, perforations in leather and faux leather and going over that line twice might make perhaps some people say oh what about perforations that bottom line is not actually holding any weight at all 
it's actually the top line that's the one that's holding the weight so this is if if this won't perforate this bottom line it's this this seam across the top here that's actually holding the bulk of the strain so that's the one we don't want to weaken so i'm just going to take that through to the back and i'll tie off in exactly the same way as we have been um, right the way through because this is just a a spare bit that i'm using because i filmed the wall there you go i'm not even sure that's actually that visible because it's quite dark brown but let's just pop that on the light on it and you can see there that we have that lovely cross um, and that's really secure and my slightly curved hardware is actually curving towards the gusset if you have it going the other way, then this will always sit slightly proud of the side of the bag, which looks a bit odd. So that's how you construct your uh, strap connector onto your gusset. You're going to do exactly the same thing on the other end of your gusset. Obviously, this is a very short gusset. Um, and then we'll move on from here to making the, actually constructing the bag.